Now, I am coming to the next intelligence that is logical mathematic intelligence. This logical mathematic intelligence people are logical, rational, they have a more of a cognitive mind, they are very good in mathematics and science, they understand the steps of maths very well and uh, they enjoy doing maths class, they enjoy computer class and they like to solve even problems which are given in an example. So, when the teacher is giving the problems which is given at the end of the book that they solve and then they come back and they solve the example problems also. So, it is clear that uh, they love to do mathematics. If uh, you have give them something to eat from this fast food wrappers, there are some calories and proteins are written because the numbers are given there, the table is there, they start reading that also. What I am trying to tell is wherever the numbers are there, they enjoy reading those numbers and uh, calculating in mind. Recently, uh, I have seen on a television one child who is uh, 4 year old and uh, moderator has given him so many multiplication, 3 digit, 4 digit divisions, but this child was playing, playing and answering. So, he was not even understanding, he is giving answer of a very complex problem. So, when it comes to the number for this child, it is a cakewalk. So, what we have seen in a maths, if the story problem is given, like Ram has 4 mangoes and Sham has 3 mangoes, all together how many mangoes are there? The language is there, so many times it happens, they do not know what to do with this sum. But uh, if you just tell them you have to add, then it is very easy for them. So, addition they know, but if the language comes in addition, then they have a problem. So, it, it's, it shows that uh, uh, number is very easy for them to remember, they can remember uh, telephone numbers, they can remember shop numbers, addresses are very fine with them. So, anything related to number is good and when it comes to the logic, they can uh, be logical. Now, we will be trying to understand the characteristics of the logical mathematic students. These are the students who can easily do math in their head, good at strategy games, have a mind like a computer, really like math, enjoy science experiments, organize things by category, abstract thinker, looks for rational explanation, wonder how things work. They have a mind of computer when it comes to solving problem and they do math in mind very fast. So, if they go to the mall also and uh, there uh, before the calculator gives the total, they have in their mind what is the right total of the items they have purchased. So, verbal maths, doing maths in mind, abstract thinking becomes very easy and uh, on the computer they can work many hours because there lot of logic is required while making the computer programming and uh, this logical mind they have. So, they enjoy making programming also. Now, we are going to the next intelligence that is spatial intelligence. These are the children, those who have a spatial intelligence, they are very good genius, they have high potential related to understand the spaces. It means uh, they know the mapping very well, they read maps very well from one place to another place, how to go for them it is very easy. In air also mapping is easy for them, in water also it is easy. So, it shows that uh, the space maybe it is air or water for them to understand the direction in the spaces and the mind where to reach, how to reach and what will be the destination that they understand very well. 
mostly we have seen those who are architects. They are the one who are given land and then ask them to draw a building of uh, 21 floors where whatever the uh, necessities we have, we just give them our list. We want to have these, these things in the building and they give us a map. And that map, they are very clear in this land how the building is going to look like. So, that understanding average people, those who are not uh, having special intelligence, it's very difficult for them to read that map and understand how the drawing room going to look or bedroom going to look. But for them, it's, in their mind, it's very clear. So, you need to have that kind of mind and in education, what we have seen, these are the children for them to read the whole text for one paragraph or one page, it's not so interesting. But if uh, the text is drawn into the flow chart and uh, given in a pictorial form, then it's easy for them to understand. So, that's the reason many times uh, big, big theories, if it is translated into mind mapping and explain them uh, through that, then uh, it stays in their mind and the whole theory they understand very well, because they have a uh, special uh, mind for the uh, understanding the spaces. These are the um, uh, children who, for whom uh, if uh, you tell them to draw three dimensional picture, uh, which has uh, and restrict them to two or three colors, it is very easy for them to even with those re restrictions to make uh, three dimensional pictures, which can come out better than their classmates or age mates. Seeing this intelligent, who are these children, we are understanding from the characteristics of uh, uh, special intelligent children. These characteristics are good at solving visual puzzles, enjoyed geometry in school, good at drawing, can visualize pictures in head, notices color and shapes, enjoys photography, good with directions, can remember places vividly, good at artistic composition, likes books with pictures. So, from this it is very clear that uh, anything which is descriptive in the pictorial form uh, given to them, then uh, they remember it very well. Uh, what we have seen the child who is uh, 4 year old, from the picture if you are reading the story to the child, then after some time just give this child the picture book and, and tell the child to read the story. He will be seeing the picture and reading the story as if he can read. So, that kind of intelligence is used to understand the story. So, these are the very um, gifted children and uh, what we have seen uh, uh, many uh, these children, their uh, drawings are far, far better than their classmates. You know. So, they take part in a school drawing competition, in a city drawing competition and uh, they mostly score very well, because their drawings are abstract and uh, their drawings are very different than other people. Now, we are going to the next intelligence that is musical intelligence. Musical intelligence people, they understand music, compose music and can easily give the tone to the music. They are the one who plays music and some instrument they play easily and uh, they love doing that. This intelligence can be used in the education to know that uh, uh, if uh, musical intelligence people, they are learning formulas in a musical way, then uh, they can remember this formula very e easy. So, anything which is very tough and uh, they are not able to understand, if you can translate it into the musical way and give to these children, then they will be understanding and they will be reproducing the uh, subject very well. So, uh, they are the uh, people, those who 
uh, sing professionally and uh, give performance in front of crowd also without any problem. So, uh, when uh, uh, this musical intelligence people are using their intelligence in understanding the different subjects, then the other subject becomes very easy. For example, if we teach uh, chemistry formulas or physics formula to Lata Mangeshkar in a musical fashion, then she will understand this physics and chemistry very well. So, what we are trying to understand here is uh, uh, in, a, in a tone, in a rhythm, if anything is taught to them, they get picked up very fast. So, this is the musical intelligence people. Now, we will be understanding the characteristics of musical intelligence people. They have a high good quality rhythm, can easily memorize songs, notice and enjoy different sounds, often singing, whistling and tapping a song, talented with the instrument or singing, can tell when a note is off key, often have a song running through their head, have an uninquitable passion for music. These are the uh, students, if somewhere the music is going on, they start uh, humming that music. And if some uh, table or uh, chair is there, they start uh, playing with the, uh, as if they are playing in the tabla, their fingers are start working like uh, they are playing a tabla. So, it shows very clearly that uh, any kind of music around them is motivating them to hum or or maybe sing the song. They are the one who in the bathroom also sing, in the kitchen also, uh, when they are doing some things, they sing and they can drive hours together if music is played. Otherwise, uh, two or three hours driving is uh, too much for a person, but with music, they do not even realize that two hours or three hours have passed. So, this has a lot of strength and what we have seen, music can work as a therapy also to those who are genius in that area. With music, they can uh, forget their illness or sickness. Now, we are going to the next intelligence that is naturalistic intelligence. These are the students, they like to study botany or zoology, where they can study about the plants and animal, they like to go in a forest, they like to touch the animal, play with the animal, talk about the animal, they are very sensitive to the environment and uh, even pollution for that matter. So, they talk about environment uh, and the degradation of the environment and give a good understanding about the changing uh, nature. So, because they are very sensitive in this area and uh, this sensitivity is giving them clear understanding uh, about the nature. So, we can see what are the characteristics they are having, those who have a naturalistic intelligence. They bothered by pollution, enjoys having pets, likes to learn about nature, enjoys gardening, appreciates scenic places feels alive when in contact with nature, likes to camp, hike, walk and climb, notices nature above all other things, conscious of changes in weather. They can spend time with uh, pets at home or maybe outside also. You must have seen around you when the children they go out. Uh, they do not uh, differentiate between the pet animal and the animal who is on the street and the way they play with the dogs hours together. It shows that they have a uh, liking for the animal and uh, uh, they love to spend time with the animal. I have seen one of the student, he has a uh, passion for the snakes and uh, he used to read a book on snakes, talk about the snakes and uh, he got a very good understanding of uh, reptiles, when he see the snake, then he wanted to like touch it and later on it happens that uh, he have started, uh, he has become a snake uh, catcher. 
So, you can sometimes whatever area you like uh, and you have a passion that can become your profession also. Next intelligence that is bodily kinesthetic intelligence. Here those who have uh, potential in this area use their body for many function. They use full body, they use part of the body, they use fingers. Even when they are reading, they walk and read. They, uh, if they have to mug up some definitions, they, that definition also, they cannot sit in one place and learn that definition, but they uh, walk uh, from one place to another and learn definition. So, uh, for them to sit in one place becomes very difficult and they use their body for uh, learning, they use their body for uh, enjoying and uh, playing. So, full day if uh, you allow them to go out and play, they will be very happy. They love to do uh, mountaineering, they love to walk in the forest, nature walk is a very favorite uh, uh, with them. Mountaineering, if they get a chance, they will not going to leave that. So, these are the bodily kinesthetic uh, people, they can be very good sports person and uh, uh, hours to, together practice for the sports is not difficult for them. They can be swimmer also, they have a high stamina and uh, this stamina needs to be channelized. So, uh, any kind of learning, if experiential is given to them, it is easy for them to understand. So, by doing it, by experimenting it uh, is better for them to know the subject. They are the bodily people, now we will be seeing the characteristics of bodily kinesthetic students. They learn by doing, would rather touch than just look, well coordinated with good motor skills, likes fingering out how things work, enjoy the outdoors, likes to work with hands, can't sit still for too long, enjoy sports and exhilarating experiences, likes to be active has a lot of physical energy and athletics. So, they can handle object skillfully and uh, uh, they can do dramatics, mimicry very well. Any kind of imitation, if bodily you ask them to do, they can do till perfection. So, that kind of uh, talent these children are having. Now, we are coming to the last intelligence which uh, is existential intelligence. He has not worked much in this area, but he has just touched upon it. And uh, this intelligence, uh, mostly those who are intelligent in this area, they are the one who ask questions like, from where I have come, where is God, why cannot we see God? You say the God is above the sky, when we go in the plane and go above the clouds, we do not see the God, so the mother after she died. So, very abstract questions they ask, philosophical questions they ask and for them it is very difficult to give answers. The question which um, eighth standard student have asked was, why Buddha, he was living in palace, he has a good life, he left the palace and why he went to the forest. So, their questions are uh, different than uh, their classmates and mostly the to give answer becomes difficult. So, this is the existential intelligence. Now, somebody has to take further on this intelligence to work on it because as I told you how a gardener has stopped working on the multiple intelligences. So, this is all about the intelligences. Now, I am trying to conclude by uh, saying that in a class while teaching, we need to change our teaching pattern. Mostly, we our teaching is either verbal or with the audio visual. So, we need to change to and add other uh, teaching methodologies where we can use other intelligences also like role plays, like dramatics, like uh, music in the classroom, 
we have a very good example which uh, uh, is shown in a movie Tare Zameen Pe, where how uh, Amir Khan has attracted the students uh, through the music. So, we need to do experimentation in uh, teaching methodologies and try to address at least three to four intelligent people in the class every time. So, that should be our lesson plan where the objectives are meeting to the intelligences. Thank you very much.